So we have here a single selected. This is to render a single frame, whatever frame we're at on the time slider and whichever viewport we're in, it will render out a, a frame. So we're going to change that since we want to render out a movie file to active time segment. This will do 0 to 200 and then we will actually select the render output files button and this will my location I'm going to actually do the desktop and all I need to do is right click and I'm going to a uh, new folder I'm going to call this scene images double click that folder so I'm inside scene images now the file name I'm going to call it scene underscore and we have a couple options here we have to render out a movie file a quick time or an AVA, AVI file quick time right and those would be fine depending on your computer and depending on what time constraint you have because it could take a while to do that and you don't want it to crash and then you have to re-render and start all over from scratch so to save us from going through that what we're going to do is render out a JPEG and it's still going to render out a JPEG for every frame so basically we're going to get Two, 0 to 200 so we're going to get 200 JPEG renders and then we can actually put this in After Effects and create a movie file pretty quickly so I'm going to leave it named scene underscore and click save a reason for that is it's going to automatically name them and I have an example here we have scene 0000, 000 and where I left off at scene 0037 so you can see it will automatically name them uh, with their numbers correctly all the way to 200. So if it crashed, I would just come back and select a range and say, oh, okay, I left off at 37, so I need to render 38. So I would do 38 to 200, and then I would render. So now we're ready to go ahead and start rendering. So we have our active time segment, 0 to 200. We're rendering out uh, 200 JPEGs, starting with scene underscore 0000, being that we just named it scene underscore. right? And we have it saved in that folder. So that's, that's good to go. Now all I need to do is make sure I have my correct window selected. So I want to make sure I have the camera viewport selected. And then I will go ahead and hit render. So now you can see it's going to start rendering the frame. And as it finishes it, it saves it and we'll move on. And then we even get a status here doing one now it's at 2 of 201. So we can sit here and watch it go from 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way till it finishes. So that's going to take quite a while, but we'll let it sit here and run its course. OK, once it's done rendering, uh, then we can go ahead and save this and open up After Effects. Now with After Effects open, we can just right click in this project area, import file. Now that we're in import file, you will just select your first render, which would be scene underscore zero zero zero. With that selected, it should only be footage available. We're going to say JPEG sequence. We shouldn't need to force alphabetical order. It's numerically going to have them in order, but in some cases, you might need that in the future, but for this project, you shouldn't need that. So we're going to go ahead and click Open. You'll notice the icon now looks like a bunch of pictures fading into the background. We've got like three here as they're fading back. Now this has um, all, all your JPEGs that are rendered. Uh, we can just write. We'll actually, we'll drag this down. into our composition window 
and it'll actually make the composition the size of the JPEG. So this composition is going to be six. What is it? Six forty by four eighty. There we have it. So now you see we've got a movie sequence created from the JPEGs from what I have so far. So for a test, quick render, I just rendered out as the camera starting to come up to the water. So you can see that's what I have so far. Then I would go to composition, add to render queue. We're going to do the shortcut, just select the arrow next to output module, select H.264. On this, I'm going to click the name here, scene.mp4, and I'm going to make sure I have that saved to my scene images. We got the bell for success just going off a little bit early here. So we'll name this scene underscore name. And we're saving it in our scene images folder. Click save and render. And since it's only 48 frames, that's really quick. There we go. There's my scene underscore name. And I can just double click and play that. And there we have our movie file. Now this would look great if I just had my three seconds worth of 200 frames. I would get the whole, all of the camera animation in here. So go ahead and try that on your own, whatever scene you've created, and get some uh, cool movie files rendered out.